Marian Pole Mantiga suffering a similar fate at the hands of the Serbians. So here we go. Not exactly a crisp first possession, but it worked out. They got reservations for two. Ivaldis Jalgis. Okay, that's a one. He had a foot on the line. I thought it was a two-piece. Instead, just one. Jalgis. That is a two for sure. So he sees double quite clearly. 3 nothing. Ivaldis Jalgis against Tartu. It's one versus three right now. Only 30 seconds in. I got a hunch that somebody else might score. Kiwi, it's me. A little kiss off the glass is Tartu. They get into the scoring column. Top of the key release. Missed it to the left. It's Kiwi. Oh, Kiwi, man. This dude is in his bag right now. That jumper is pure, fresh squeezed. 3-3. Three, three. So just like that, a 3-0 run from Tartu to even things up. Nice handoff on the drive, and it's laid up and in. Eustace now say this. Kiwi down low. Drop step. Bucket will count. Plus a free throw attempt. That big body of Mikel Kirvis. This dude is a problem as well. Really good showing for him today. Obviously, you can see he's like a missile. A big missile. Big body, strong. Soft touch, not soft enough. Foul called on the rebound attempt. 4-4 game. You know, we partnered with Swiss watchmaker Maurice Lacroix, our official new timekeeper. They recently unveiled three special edition 3X3 themed watches formed in ocean bound recycled plastic. Makes it twice as hard as standard plastic, five times more resistant. And uh, I guess most importantly, it drastically reduced the, their carbon footprint. I got one of the watches. You'll see DJ Last rocking one too. Thank you, Maurice Lacroix. I'm enjoying my new special edition Icon Tide. My wrist game is tight. Defense was too tight and put Jalgas on the line again. Jalgas made good at the strike. Two point contest. Not even two minutes in. It's Marian Pole. A couple of steps ahead of Tartu at the moment. Marian Pole will start at top of the key. I was going to say the spacing wasn't great, but it does lead to a good look. Speaking of soft touch and supple hands. Down Vitas, Kuchinikas, getting it done. Hey, follow us on uh, social media, please. I don't beg a lot, but I give us give us a follow. We we want new friends at FIBA 3x3. Use the hashtag 3x3wt. That's W E T, wet from the corner. El Mai with that last bucket for Tartu. Got him, has him down one, seven to six game. He wants it again. This time he's going to drive. Lost it for a moment. Fakes the handoff. Steps back mid range this time. Rattles out. That ball poked out of bounds off blue. Should be Marian Pole ball, top of the key. Oh, yeah. 
fade away. No. One point game. Almost three minutes in. Kiwi. No. That was online, but too strong. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a foul. So, almost time for that TV timeout. Got to be beyond the seven minute mark. Next dead ball, we'll see both teams get a break. Marion Pelay would like to score before that break in action. Oh, they nearly did. But it's poked away from Jalgas. They got seven to shoot when they come back. But a well-earned breather for both teams. Tight contest, as you would expect. Play-in game. Who wants to come out of Group B as the second team? And obviously, if, uh, if they get a win here, the number two team out of Group B will play the top seed from D, which we have not determined yet. So they don't even know who, the, who their opponent might be until uh, everything gets settled in Group D. All right. Let's go. 6.50. Shimon. Shimon now. I'm speaking Michael Jackson right now. Shimon. Had to force it up late in the shot clock. Those usually don't amount to the prettiest shots. Nobody there to defend the rim. So Kiwi puts it down. 7-7. Seven, seven. Jalgas left alone. Had a hitch in his jumper. It was like he glitched mid-shot. Stays even at 7 apiece. Jalgas will track it down. They have it cleared now. Jalgas wants it in the post. Late on the pass. Poked away and a foul call. Foul on Gray. Third on Marion Poulet. Tar two have five. So Tartu reset. That's a clear foul. And really no choice there. Shimonis was beat. So he's going to get a rest. Tartu will get it started top of the key. Hint. Na, 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 na. Waiting on the screen now. Kiwi now baseline, nowhere to go. Oh, nice play. Nice play. Sets up Alexander Hint. Would have had an open layup attempt, but instead he's fouled. He shoots one here, five fouls apiece, seven points apiece. And Hint, he's going to stroke it from the line. Breaks the tie. Jalgas, quick move, spin move. Uh, delicious. Off the glass, eight is always great. A little post game leads to the fadeaway. That's a combo play right there. Foul and the make. Chance for two the hard way. That's if Mikel Kirvis can knock it down. Oh, Kirvis misses it at the line. So that opportunity is wasted. Jalgas, he wants to give it up to get it back. Uh. He nutmegged the man on that pass. You have any idea the precision that it takes? Kiwi, oh, beautiful reverse finish. Supple hands on the, so on the soft touch, and nobody there to defend Jalgis. They had a defensive breakdown right there. So 10-10. 
Neither team can get away from the other. Strong drive and a nice finish. Alexander Hinn has been playing well in this game for Tartu. Step back. Missed it to the right. Rebound. Fighting for it. That's a blue foul. So each team now up to six. No more to give. Marion Pelé will take over from the logo. It's checked up and we get back to it. Shimonis to Jalgas. Jalgas took him to spin class. You're going to learn today. 11 up. Kiwi kicks it out. Off balance to attempt missed. Long rebound kept alive. Tartu still on the attack here. This time it's Kiwi. No. So Kiwi. Missed the, the shorty. Lost our shot, our game clock here. But that's okay, we can still keep up. That bucket's gonna count. Smarion Pelé will jump up by one. 12-11. They'll try to get the power restored to the scoreboard. Somebody unplug something. So whenever we have an extended break like this, I either give you some information or I, I sing. Which one do you want? You want some information or you want me to sing? All right, fine, I'm singing. It's a bit, 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 bit. Man, uh, uh, there's music in the air and then the love and everywhere. So give me the night. I love singing the songs that I don't know all the words to. I'm the one that mumbles all the way through the song and I just say the two or three words that I actually know. And there's music in the air. That's me. Okay, uh, I'm not sure what what the issue is with that uh, scoreboard. They're going to get it together, though. I can tell you this. Uh, did you know that 60% of the games on the FIBA 3x3 World Tour are won before the 10-minute limit? So more than half of the games reach 21. It's the fastest team sport in the world. Made its debut in the Olympic Games last summer in Tokyo. We cannot forget our medal winners. USA women taking gold. Latvian men taking gold. ROC with silvers. China with a bronze and Serbia with a bronze. Chinese women, obviously, and the Serbian men. They will forever be in the record books. Next Olympic Games is going down in 2024 in Paris. Speaking of Paris, uh, we will have a world tour stop there before the end of the year. We got Paris, we got Cebu, we got Utrecht. Uh, let's see, we got Riyadh. Uh, we got a lot. We got a lot still on deck. I, I believe uh, Hong Kong. All this is from memory. And of course, we got the Europe Cup. So we got a big international cup coming up uh, September the 9th. That'll be going down in Graz, Austria. Our next stop on the world tour will be in Montreal. That's coming up September the 3rd and 4th. So we, it's busy. A lot of 3x3 action. Look at that pass right there. Uh, and then look at the finish from Key V. So a competitive game. Like this one a lot. Each team trading the lead. Six fouls apiece. And a packed house here again tonight. Shout out to Miroslav Paisilic, the new father. You just saw him up there in the blue jersey. He had a baby boy yesterday. I didn't get a chance to mention it during the, the game earlier, so I'm mentioning it now. He had a game winner for 
uh, for Lehman in OT. Against Marian Pole. So it's been a good week for Miroslav Pajsajlic. Kivi. He's defended well. Take another look. Oh, there's, there was definitely contact with the body. But out of bounds. Off of Jalgis. Three to shoot. Elevates. Pulls the trigger. No. Ball back over to Marian Pule. Quick drive. The scoop. No. They're doing the wave in here now. Under four minutes to play. Next dead ball, we'll get a TV timeout. Kiwi, too strong. Here come Marian Pole again. Tuchinikas will swing it up top. Jalgas, wide open. Couldn't knock it down. Loose ball goes to blue. Stolen away. Shimonis down low. Jalgas trying to clear some space. He elevates and gets the lefty hook shot to go now. Two point game, but he didn't clear it. So that that whistle will signify a break into action. Both teams will step off the court for a moment in a 13 11 showdown. All for a spot to play day two. 40 Thou Wow is on the line. $122,000 is what we pay out each and every Masters. So we're handing out some big bags in 3x3. 40 grand to the winner, $30,000 to the runner up. 20 grand to third place. Not too bad. I can remember a time where the grand prize was 10,000. 3x3. The evolution right before our eyes. Crossover. Great defense. Quick shot, oh foul underneath. Way to hustle for the rebound. It's Eustace Narcedes. He'll shoot a couple here as that's number seven on Tartu. Oh, Justus could knock it down that time. Narcedes gets another opportunity here. With three minutes to play, Marian Pelé trying to get a little bit more breathing room. They want to loosen that belt. Oh, that's most certainly a carry. This ain't the N1 mixtape. Here we go. Oh, slick pass between the knees. You got to finish that. No, he doesn't. You know, Jalgas, I think he took a shot to the man region. His jump hook is long. Stays a three-point contest under three minutes to play. 247 and counting. That ball is snatched away. Jalgas setting up at the top of the key. Waste no time in releasing that when it touches nothing. Ball over the blue. Tartu Alexella trying to excel to day two after starting in the qualifying draw. They got a little work to do. Technical foul is called for flopping. The officials don't like it when you try to sell them, a, sell them some rotten goods. Just say no to flopping. And Kivi makes it count at the line. Tartu within two. 229 left in the contest. Oh, got us. Pepper picked. Great defense from right there. Guccinicus. 
Luchinikas gets it back, swings it over. Shimon. No, Shimon is, couldn't hit the two piece. Two bucks left in this one. Pull up. Yes. The shorty falls. Kyrvis. Tar two within one. Up fake. Step through. No. Too much protein. Klitschunikas defending now. This is a tough matchup for him. But quick hands to poke that one away. Great defensive play. At least point seven left to shoot. Shot clock violation. Buck 35 left. It's coming down to the wire. Nice ball movement leads to Jaugis underneath. It's a nice sequence there for Marian Pelé. Kiwi's dangerous out there. He decides to flip it up. Thought he had a better opportunity to drive there. They get the, the rebound. All oh, the cross and the bang. Alexander Hint. One point lead for Marian Pole. Kiwi got the step. Count that. He'll get two free throws as well. Oh, yeah. He was riding him like a stallion. He still managed to get his balance just enough to get the shot up in time. Couple of free throws. The first twine. Second one. Yes, sir. Jalgis now. Oh, man, this dude is tough. Jalgis just continuing to be assertive offensively. The defense earns Marian Pelé a steal. They trail by one. 30 seconds to play. Jalgis didn't miss, didn't make it that time. Foul called on the rebound attempt. So we got a 17-16 game. 24 ticks left. Eight fouls apiece. The winner survives to play tomorrow. The loser will get some early vacation time here in Debrecen. Two free throws upcoming for Tautvidas Kluchinikas. Oh, Kluchinikas misses the first. You hear the oohs and ahs from the crowd. They know how tight this one is. With just 24 seconds remaining, they need to tie here, and they do. He makes good on the second. 17 all. 20 seconds left. They're going to get it to Kiwi. Kiwi dangerous on the drive. Kiwi puts it up, missed it. It's recovered and also missed. 12 seconds remain. Marion Pelé can win this one. They're going to use all the time up. Kluchinikas is waving people off. Get out of there. Jaugus with the ball. Jaugus puts it up, but it's gangster swatted. 17-17, and it will go to overtime. Take another look. Take that back. Outstanding timing. Curvis. 
And Jalgas does not get it up in time. So the first to score two in OT wins it. It's as tight as you would expect it to be. Play in game from pool B. Tartu Alexella. Marion Pole Mantinga. Tartu will start with the rock. They want to get it to Kiwi. Kiwi thought about the two. Instead, he's going to hand it over. That two is missed. It's clear three versus two for now. But now Jalgis is up defending. Kiwi, he left him in the dust and then rocked the rim something proper. Tartu. All they need is one to win it in OT. Got to defend the two-point arc. They don't want to give up any clean looks. Marion Pule will see what they do with it. Shimonis, the pull-up, long range, heat cold game. Your Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater, courtesy of Ziggy Montes Shimonis. Shimon, and Shimon now, and Shimon. He got me singing. Here it is, the Maurice Lacroix buzzer beater. Shimon says, let's go home. Got a good look, straight on two ball bottoms. Ball game. I'll be sticking my chest out too. Big win for Marianne Poulet.